previously on Chucky. Oh, the cross, I get it. That means vampires, right? Oh my god, stay back. I could act like a vampire. <laughs> Mike Show's ready. Have a blessed evening. Now, we're going to keep this short because I'm hungry and we have, none of us have had dinner yet. And I don't know why You're they, always hungry, butter, rice. I don't know why they schedule this before dinner. It makes no sense at all. But anyway, may the Lord bless our sisters. Do we have to know this? Shut up! Oh, Trevor. Who's Trevor? He is the school bully. Hi, Trevor. My name is Lexi. Oh, no. Why would you say his name? Why would you t Why would you say your name to him? He's a bully. Oh, maybe I should have never said Trevor's name. I mean, my name to Trevor. Oh, no. Hello, guys. My name is Trevor. I am the Incarnate Lord School Bully, and I'll always be. Trevor, get back in your room right now. Somewhere in this bathroom. I can't see him anywhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got the phone, Jake. <laughs> Give me my phone. No. Not the phone! No! Curse you! What have you been taking pictures of? Let's see. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god. Chucky's here. I don't see him. Oh my god. Hi, you girls! Nadine, be quiet. You're going to wake up everybody. <laughs> Catch you real soon. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was, it was real. Don't worry, Nadine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You sure? Yes, you'll be fine. Oh, my God. This doll's too scary. What in the world is all this ruckus in here? What is happening, you guys? Yeah, what is happening? I checked to make sure you guys were okay. Are you guys okay? <laughs> then you won't believe this. There's this doll named Chucky, and he's alive. This doll is real. Jake, I've told you before, and I'm going to tell you again, you need to let go and stop obsessing about this doll. Why don't you understand? It is a toy, and it's a donation. You go out soon anyway to the orphans. But... Then, but then, then you can kill one of them. They have nothing to lose anyway. So you want me to kill who? No, you're not killing anybody. Oh, I thought you said kill. Well, the doll can. Kill who? One of the orphans it goes to. Goes to where? I don't know. Well, anywho, it's not real. It's all just in your head. No, it's not. It is. My friends believe me. It's all just in here. Why are you touching my head like that? By the way, you kind of look like my dad that died. By the way, you're just a little bit bigger. My dad was just shorter. He was, like, small, like... He was just small a little. You kind of look like him. What? Well, I had a twin brother. He was long lost. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, maybe the twin brother was my dad that died being electrocuted by Chucky. You okay, Fodder Bryce? My twin was electrocuted? Yes, he was, by this doll named Chucky, and he was my dad. Anyway. So what I'm saying is... Yes? You need to pray more and concentrate on things that are real in life. Okay. This doll is real. Why don't you understand that? Jake, 
I know you're troubled, you're growing up, you're confused because you lost your parents. But you have to stop blaming a toy. That toy is real. What do you not understand about that a toy is not real? Where was it made? In China? I don't know. Japan, I think. Chucky? I, I don't know. Mm. Who knows? He has a bride named Tiffany, but she's not in this Catholic school. Tiffany, huh? Yeah. And a son named Glenn. A and son. A, and Glenda. A toy with a son. Glenn and Glenda. Yes, I know. It's all make-believe. It's not. What am I going to do with you, boy? It's not imagination. It's real. Well. Maybe you should check on the doll yourself. He's he's in the donation box. He's going to go out soon, so don't worry about it. Really? Yes. Oh, fine. Fine. I'll try not to worry about it, but I know he's going to try to get one of us. What's going on in here? What's going on? Well, sister, this young man is still obsessing over this tall, this this doll, this toy, and he thinks it's real, and he thinks it's possessed. So, I don't know if we're going to have to get the evil spirits out at some point. Evil but, spirits out of what? Out of the doll. There's spirits in the doll? Well, he, this young man claims it's alive, and it's going around and killing people. Why don't I just cha take Jake to his room? I think that's a good idea. I think so too. Come on, Jake. I'm I'm warning you. He's alive. He's alive. Come on, Jake. Don't waste any time. Well, what about the time? You gotta go somewhere, Sister Catherine. No, just just go to your room, okay? Go, go. Shutting the door. This guy is crazy. He's kids. I know kids, right? Like, they, I mean, I think he said his friends believe the doll, but I don't believe the doll. Well, I think these kids are spending too much time on the internet, seeing all this crazy stuff. Well, where are their phones? Like, talking dolls. Well, you put their phones away, did you? Yeah, no, I'm speaking in general. Oh, I see. I see. I'm going back to my room. Hi, Devin. Hi, Jake. Wait, Chucky? <laughs> what are you girls doing here? Nadine, what are you doing here? We brought Chucky here. Lexi, what are you doing here? Like Nadine said, we brought Chucky here. Why is Chucky here? Because we want to brainwash him to make him better and good. But Chucky is bad. I don't want to become good. I am bad, Chucky, and I will always be. Oh, no. All right, well, we have to think of a way how to make him good. I'm sorry, but I gotta go to a class. Sister Catherine really wants to see me now. Right now? Yeah, right now. But I don't have time. Can I go to class? What type of class are you going to? None of your business, Chucky. All right, I'm going to my class. Bye! Uh, okay. You know, you're not gonna win, Chucky. You know that. Oh, yeah? There are thousands of Chuckies in the world. I mean, some of the Chuckies died already, but I am one of the ones that is still alive. <laughs> oh, be quiet, Chucky. Yeah, say that again, Nadine. I just did. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna win. And by the way, I have a knife right over here so I can kill you. Where did you get that knife from, Jake? Oh, uh, I, uh, got it from Chucky. Give me my knife now! No, I'm not! Let me just move Chucky. <sighs> Chucky. You have to do what I say. Well, just just tell me. How many Chuckies are out there in the world? Or I will stab you in the eye. I'm not telling you anything. And if you want to tell me, 
I'm not going to tell you because there are thousands of me in the world and you're never going to kill me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, be quiet, Chucky. Oh, yeah, Lexi? Let me see if I can stab his finger. Let's see if that hurts. <laughs> what the heck? He's enjoying it. <laughs> I love getting stabbed in the finger. <laughs> How is he enjoying getting stabbed in the finger? Oh, man. This doll is absolutely crazy. I just can't stand him. He's just too much for me. Oh, uh, I can't stay on this anymore. Jake, you're being annoying. Sorry, Nadine. Yeah, he's got, I mean, you got a point, Nadine. That is weird. Well, yeah, okay, so, yeah. What are we gonna do with Chucky now? Yeah, what are you gonna do with me? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. Well, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta talk to Father O'Malley and maybe Father Bray. So, uh, I gotta go to my class. So, bye! Why is everyone going to their classes? I don't know. But we have to figure out what we have to do with Chucky. <laughs> Hi, Sister Catherine. So what am I doing at this class? Well, you're gonna learn some math since you're not at school. You're just in this, uh, well, uh, incarnate lord. That is really true. Sister Ruth, what are you doing here? I'm just watching you do your learning skills. That's all you're doing? Just watching? Boring! Hey! I could tell Father Bryce this, and trust me, he won't be happy at all. Alright, fine, fine, I'll follow the rules. That's more like it, Devin. I said that's more like it. I heard you in the first place! You wanna fight? Hey, 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 break up the argument. We're, we're here to learn, not to fight. Now let's get ready to learn. That is true, Sister Catherine. Stop talking or I'll send you to Father Bryce. Oh, yeah? You're not the boss of this school. Oh, yeah? But I'm the second boss. Oh, I did not know that. Ha! Better watch out, because I'm the second boss of this school. And you know Father Bryce is the head boss. Well, the main boss of the school, and I'm the second boss. Yeah, you know, you know the thing. Am I a boss? No, you're not. You're just a helper. You help out people. You're just a nun that just helps out people. I wish I was a boss. Well, you're not, so you get what you get, and you don't get upset. So anyways, let's get into learning. So let's get to learn some math problems. Here you go. Get some paper. Here, have some paper. Why am I getting paper? I'm a nun. I, I don't... I know my math. Why do I need to have this paper? Oh, because you've been too bossy with me? Maybe that's the thing? Oh. You can't give me a paper. I work here. I work at the school. Well, since you're getting on my nerves, maybe you should solve some math problems. All right, fine. I will. All done. Oh, really? You're all done with all that math? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let me see if all the problems are right. <laughs> all the problems are wrong. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure they're all right. All right, let me do some math. Okay, gotta do some math, gotta do some math. Five minutes later. All right, I'm almost done writing my math problem. Oh, come on, this is taking forever. I went way faster. Go faster, Devin. Stop pressuring me, ugly nun. Hey, that's not what you call a nun. It's Sister Ruth. All right, Sister Ruth. Like I said before, you two, break up the argument. Are you done with your math paper, Devin? Almost. Let me do the last problem. Got it. Here you go.
Let me see. Oh, that's a shame, Devin. You got two wrong. Fix these two answers now. Hey! Okay, here you go. That's more like it. You get to move on to the harder math. Wait, what? Oh, and if you're wondering, Sister Roof, you get way harder math since you got all those wrong. No! Oh! Hi, Father O'Malley! How are you doing today? I am doing fine, my child. Well, that is good. How are you doing, Father Bryce? I'm doing fine, my child. How are you? I'm not a child. I'm an adult. Who do you <laughs> think I am? Sorry. You're, you're so big. I thought... Uh, I don't know. Are I you thought... calling me fat? <laughs> no. Well, you look fat. I'm just joking. All right, stop the argument, you two. So, uh, what are we talking about here? Well, it has come to my attention that some students here at the Shrine School believe there's a possessed toy going around. A, pos a possessed toy? <laughs> I don't believe it, my child. Can you stop saying my child? What I do. So, wait, why are they always talking about a possessed toy again? What, what, why? Well, I don't know. They think that um, Sister Elizabeth untimely passing has anything to do with well, it. Well, Sister Elizabeth died yesterday. Right, exactly. And they think it's the doll's fault. Now, this blasphemous talk has to end, or I will put the school in lockdown. How will I end it? Uh, well, what do you think, Father? I, I don't know. You're, you're the boss. Well... I think we should, um, we should impose a curfew. You guys are talking nonsense. Excuse me, young lady. What? I'm just saying. You guys are talking nonsense. Well, do you have any, do you believe this talk that your fellow students are engaging in? Uh, about a killer doll? Yes. Yes, I do, because I saw him earlier today. Oh, so you too now. Yes, me too. Well, I'm how, very... how am I supposed to believe this, my child? I'm very sorry to hear this, Nadine, because I thought you were one of the reasonable ones. What do you mean, reasonable no ones? Well, who doesn't believe in this nonsense about killer dolls and possessed toys? I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. But I believe it, and you gotta trust me. No, why would I trust you? Do you have any proof? Uh, come in my room. Okay, yeah, let's go. I don't think we would. I think she's just playing games. Let's not... I mean, she could be pranking us. Maybe it's a trap. Yeah, I don't think you should do that. Don't go in her room. Just uh, stay over here. Okay? Okay. Well, Nadine, you go to your room. And... Well, why was I here in the first place, then? That's a good question. Did you bring my lunch? Uh, what did you want for lunch? Uh, well, I'll have a chicken salad sandwich on rye bread and some fries with it. Uh, you want me to make that right now? Yeah, sure, might as well. Okay, uh, I'll make it right now. This is gonna take five minutes. Five minutes late. Okay, here's your lunch fodder, Bryce. Here you go. Take it. Thank you, my child. Why are you right in my face? Why, why are you in my face like that? Thank you. Oh, very good stuff. Could I have a bite, fodder? Uh, don't you bring your own lunch? When you come to work in the um, morning? Um, sometimes, but I forgot it today. I just need a little bite of lunch. I'm hungry. Yeah, a piece fell on the floor. You can have that. No, I'm not eating that. That causes yeah, germs. Go, nom, 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 Why nom, are you on my face? I'm feeding you. You're old. Uh, I'm not that old. You're 
pretty old. I am pretty old. Can I have a confession with you in that confession room, Father O'Malley? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, in, uh, five hours. Five hours? That's crazy, isn't it, Father Bryce? That is pretty crazy. It's not like you have, like, ten other people lining up. All right, so a confession in five hours. All right, I'm going to go to my room. Bye! Bye! She is crazy, isn't she, Father Bryce? Yes, she is, but she makes a darn good sandwich. She is crazy. She is crazy indeed. All right, you guys. Now, since all of you are inside my room right now, I think we should brainwash Chucky. Good idea. No, 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 no. I don't want to get brainwashed. Well, you are Chucky. And you get what you get, and you don't get upset. No! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Why do you like that, Lexi? Yeah, really. Sorry, I'm just so excited. We don't have to deal with bad Shucky. We can deal with good Shucky. I got an idea. I kind of got my phone. I'm going to show Chucky some really weird horror, bloody movies, and he might react. No, I hate it. I just hate it. Oh, I thought you liked scary movies. All right, I kind of do. <laughs> the ones that bloody make me laugh. <laughs> All right, time to put on a horror movie in five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, horror movies. <laughs> I love horror movies. <laughs> this is really fun. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> I love these horror movies. <laughs> no, no, this can't be. Chucky's enjoying these horror movies? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> I can't believe it. Chucky is enjoying all this horror. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> all right, I, I, I'm going to put some cute stuff on for Chucky. All right, let's see if this is pretty good for you. No, no, I don't like this cute stuff. No, no, no! No, I don't want to look at this cute stuff. No! No, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh! I just froze up. Oh! Ew! That's gross! Ew! Ew! I'm gonna be sick. Oh! Oh my god. Did it work? Do we brainwash him? A couple minutes later. Oh my god. I think it worked. I think he's good. Yeah, I think he's good Chucky. Hi. I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Who are you guys? Uh, we're Devin. We're Jake. I'm Nadine. I'm Lexi. I'm good Chucky. No. This can't be. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This has to be... He has to be bad. I think he's bad. What are you talking about? I'm good, Devin. I'm leaving. I can't anymore. I just can't. 
So you really are good? Mm-hmm. Yup, that's my name. Good Chucky. I'm sorry if wasting your guys' time, but I gotta make a confession with Father O'Malley. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Oh, so y are you really good? Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm really good. Alright, well, I'm gonna give you something to eat, good Chucky. Okay, Jake, okay. Alright, good Chucky, I'm back. I brought you some fruit snacks. Here we go, have some fruit snacks. Oh, I'll eat them. Mmm, <laughs> these taste really good. I bet they do. Yeah, they do. They for sure do. <laughs> Why are you laughing, good Chucky? It sounds like you're evil. No, 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 not at all. Definitely not evil. I am good. Well, let's hope he stays that way. Hi, Father O'Malley. How are you doing today? I am doing just as fine, my child. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I just feel like Fodder Bryce is just too much of annoying, don't you think? Well, he's the boss. He's the boss of me. He's the boss of everyone in Incarnate Lord. Well, that is true. I just feel like he doesn't believe this doll stuff. Like, how can a doll be alive? Am I right, Fodder O'Malley? Like, there's no... It doesn't make any sense. Like... How could a doll be alive? I mean, right? Right, Father O'Malley? Hmm, yes, my child. Oh, okay. Well, this is so weird. Like, it's just so weird. Like, a, like Chucky, the doll, he turned into good. So I don't even know if he is good. I feel like he is bad or something. But it could just be my own opinion because I don't really know. What? A doll that is good? Like Father Bryce said, there's no such thing as that. Well, you gotta believe me, Father O'Malley. Chucky is real. Chucky is just a plastic doll that does not know anything. There's no need to worry about Nadine. You're gonna be absolutely fine, okay? Are you sure? I mean, this doll is evil, and, uh... I'm kind of nervous if he turns evil, but I know he is good for now, so let's just, let's just hope he is good. My child, how am I supposed to believe that a doll is real? Just believe me, Father O'Malley. Do you believe me? Father O'Malley, do you believe me? Yes, 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 I guess so. I guess I believe you. Good. Thank you for believing me. Well, I don't know. Maybe I do. I, I I don't know. I'm just so confused. I'm just so confused of this doll stuff that you're talking to me, but hey, I guess. I mean, yeah. Let, let's just not worry about the doll. Okay, Father O'Malley? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, because that doll stuff is really weird. So yeah, I don't think we should talk about that. <laughs> Time to strangle you, Father O'Malley. <laughs> I'm getting strangled. Ugh. Nadine, help me. Ugh. I'm choking. Ugh. 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 Father O'Malley, are you okay? Father O'Malley? I'm getting strangled. <laughs> you, you ugly doll. I'm, I'm dying. Ugh. <laughs> Looks like Father O'Malley is dead. Gotta get rid of his dead body. Ugh, he's so heavy. <laughs> what was that noise? Father O'Malley, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am definitely fine. I am definitely Father O'Malley. Your voice seems a little different, doesn't it? Uh, maybe I had a scratchy throat. You never know. All right, well... I'm done talking, okay, Father O'Malley? <laughs> it's Chucky. What? All right, well, I, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe it. I killed him with strangulation. <laughs>
I killed Father O'Malley. <laughs> oh, I'm just walking. Oh, come on. Not you again. Not Trevor. Oh, come on. Hi, Lexi. What are you doing? I'm just walking to my room. Is that okay with you? Uh, I guess so. Okay, okay. Well, anyways, Trevor, there is this doll, well, a killer doll, named Chucky. And she's trying to kill everyone in Incarnate Lord. Well, she's trying to kill anyone around here in Hackensack. How am I supposed to believe that, Lexi? That is just a doll. There are thousands of kids in this school right over here. And you're like, they're not going to believe you, Lexi. I don't even believe this good guy doll. Because none of this is real. Oh, so this is real. Oh, yeah? What, am I going to get killed? What, what's going to happen to me? Am I going to get killed by Chucky? I don't know. Well, I hope I won't. Because he's not real. That doll is real. Oh, yeah? I don't believe in all of these fairy tales. F fur no, it is not a fairy tale, and it is real. It is not real. I know it's not real. Grow up, Lexi. You're in an incarnate lord, and you gotta s and you just gotta grow up, okay? Dolls aren't real. Dolls can't talk. Just grow up. It's fake. It's all in your imagination, so don't freak out and have a nice day. I don't think about Chucky, because that doll is not real, and he will never be. And I don't believe all this fairy still stuff. For the last time, Trevor, this is not fairy tales. Well, it is to me, and it will always be. All, all, all right, Trevor. If you don't believe me, he's coming for you. Trust me. Oh, man, you're so, he's so crazy, Trevor. I am going back inside my room. All right, I'm back. Are you okay, Lexi? It was that weirdo, Trevor. Trevor? Who's Trevor? He's a school bully. Oh, well, that is very rude. A school bully. Yeah. You seem a little weird, good Chucky. I'm not weird. I'm just being good. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that, Devin. I don't know why Trevor is always being mean to us. I just can't stand him all the time. He is just too much to me. Oh, man, if only he could just be gone for real. I just wish. Oh, man, I just hate Trevor. I just want him to go away, but he will not, because, uh, apparently he always wants to bother us. Oh, I just hate this kid. I can't stand this anymore. I know, right, Nadine? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I just wish he could go away. Go away? How? I don't know, good Shucky. Oh, okay. Oh, what are we gonna do now? Oh, man. This is crazy. I've been talking to Father O'Malley in the confession room. It's been kind of weird. I don't know. He's just, uh, I don't know. It's just, his voice kind of changed. It's like, I don't know if, I, I heard Father O'Malley, like, screaming. I don't know if he got killed or strangled. Father O'Malley got strangled? Did you do that, Chucky? Do what? Did you kill Father O'Malley? I don't think so. I don't remember. Well, whoever killed Father O'Malley, it has to be somebody. Well, this is just too shocking. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Let's just hope all of us survive because this is just too much for me. Too much for me. You mean too much for all of us? I guess so. You guys, you guys, you guys, you, you, you guys. Father O'Malley is killed. I saw his dead body. What? 
Are you kidding me? No way, he was super nice to all of us. Uh, we are running out of staff here with everybody getting killed. Now, who found him? I found him. So it was you. I did not kill Father O'Malley. Okay, how did he get killed? Um, Father, there's only three of us left. What are we going to do? There's... I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Yet. Stop <laughs> freaking die. out, Father Bryce. We'll be fine. You're the... So there's only me, Sister Catherine. There's only me, Sister Ruth. And there's only you. Uh, no. I don't know. I'm too scared. Oh, snap out of it. Uh. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's that doll, Chucky, I think. I mean, he was good, so I don't know if he killed him. I mean, he was good. He's a toy, I tell you. Well, we we changed, we brainwashed good Chuck. I mean, we brainwashed, me and my friends brainwashed Chucky to be good. Now he's good. Uh, well, I don't know if he's bad or good now. This is just too much nonsense. This is too much nonsense, Jake. I just can't stand it anymore. How did you brainwash him? By showing him horror movies and this cute thing. How did you show him horror movies? On my phone? Why do you have a phone in your room? Uh, well, we were, me and my friends were trying to brainwash him. Is that a problem, Father Brace? Brainwashing is not the problem here. That's what we try to do all day long, but... What do you, wait, why do you try to brainwash, then? Well, that's the whole idea of the thing here. But... I told you, no phones. I'm sorry, I kind of stole it. Fine, you want me to give it back? Too late. We have to do something. What do we have to do? We have to stop this. Stop what? The killings. Well, I told you it was that doll. Should we believe this, Father Bryce, or no? I don't believe it. All right, well, if you say you don't believe it, then I don't believe it. What? He's alive! He's alive! Who is alive? Chucky. Good Chucky. Okay, I guess then we have to kill him. Well... Uh... Well, I don't know. Just, well, I thought you said you don't believe it. Well, you know what? I don't believe it. I don't think you should believe it, Fodder. He's just telling you lies. Okay, I trust you, sister. What? How? How do you trust? Go to your room, Jake. Why? Because you're lying. I'm not lying. I never lie. Well, that's a lie. Well, it's the truth. You're confusing me. All right, fine. I'll go in my room. There you go. Adam boy. Stop calling me Adam boy. Sorry. This kid is so weird. I feel like he's kind of suspicious. I know. How come he found Father O'Malley first? I don't know. Did Jake kill Father O'Malley? Or am I just hallucinating? I didn't think he had it in him. But then you never know. It's the quiet ones you gotta watch. What do you mean? Wait, what? Quiet ones? Yeah, you know, he acts like so Well, nice. I think the Dean was in the confession room with Father O'Malley. Did the Dean kill Father O'Malley? No, no, no. It couldn't be. She's too sweet. Well, wait, why did I say that? Eh, never mind. That's a little too, uh, weird. And also, I don't think she's strong enough. By the way, where is that Trevor boy up to? Alright, I am in Lexi's room now. Huh, so what am I gonna do since I'm in Lexi's room? Huh, what am I going to do? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? Who's there? What was that noise? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! My mouth is bleeding! No, 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 no! Please, please, please! No!
can't believe it. I pulled out Trevor's heart. No. My heart. I'm dead. Uh, uh, uh. A couple minutes later. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? It can't be. Trevor's dead body! Oh my god! This is absolutely terrifying and terrible! Ha! <sighs> I am in Father Bryce's office. Wait a minute. Who are you? Is that who I think it is? Hello, my name is Buff Chucky, and I've been working out for quite a while. <laughs> oh my god, Buff Chucky, I can't believe it. <laughs> yup. That's my name, Buff Chucky. <laughs> I've been working out for quite a while. <laughs>